Hopefully you're not feeling as disappointed as me today because I missed out on Oasis tickets and I'm sure a lot of the people watching probably did the same. Or maybe you just don't actually care about Oasis, which, you know, you'll probably be okay then. Now, in this video, I'm going to go through, if I was to start again, what would I do with my crypto portfolio? Because obviously, if I started again, the portfolio would be different than it is now. And, you know, the main reason of that, obviously, is... For example, bought Bitcoin around 27k, bought Casper around 4 cents. Obviously, Bitcoin is around 60 k at the moment, and Casper is around 16, 17 cents last time I checked. So, you know, done a 3x on Bitcoin, done a 4 plus x with Casper. So, you've got to think that what I have now, I may not necessarily get, you know, again, if I was at this particular stage. And what you've got to look at that influences your portfolio is, you know, what what is your goal? What are you kind of looking to do? Why are you in crypto? What are you kind of looking to do with the money? Now, in mine, at the moment, I have Bitcoin. And the reason I have Bitcoin, and I've said this a lot of times, is I believe in Bitcoin long term, 2030 and beyond. And that is why I'm holding it. The, buy, the average buy price I've got is 27. You know, I, I will be buying more over the years, so that's obviously going to go up. But I'm not selling my Bitcoin this cycle. My plan is to basically have the Bitcoin, hold it long term. Then with my altcoins, I'm basically just going to uh, ride them up and then ladder out uh, using a ladder out strategy, using my bull run calculator that I've uh, put together. Um and then exit the market. And this is what I teach in my crypto masterclass program. Link in description if you want to, you know, find out more about that. But what we're going to talk about then is let's say I was starting again. And let's just say it was like a small, you know, 5, 10k portfolio. Nothing, nothing crazy. Would I have BTC in that? I mean, let's just ignore BTC and just say that, you know, this is just the altcoins that I'm looking to get out of for this, you know, particular cycle. So you've got to look at your sectors and I like AI and I like gaming. Again, I always reference this in the data that I kind of stick to. Most searched in 2024, sorry, 2023 was AI, gaming and meme coins. So AI, I do have Chain GPT at the moment. That has pretty much gone sideways, a bit down since I've had it. Still, in my opinion, a good buy price. Um, do your own research on it. Have a look what it does. Um, it enables you to, you know, make your own NFTs, kind of make your own blockchain. It is for developers. It's pretty cool, to be honest with you. It has quite a few, um, quite a few uses, crypto news, etc. all AI generated. And um, obviously, I mentioned gaming. Now, Alluvium is a game that has come out with more uh, information about the release. I do like Alluvium. It is powered by the uh, Unreal Engine 3. And I like gaming as a sector. There's so many game gaming tokens that are out there. You know, you've got Pixels that has come out. You've got the original Axie Infinity. You've got Beam. You've got Gala. You've got um, Myria. You've got um, Yield Guild Games. All these different ones. And that is a reason, really, that I kind of just choked... Um, it was only a small amount, like $500 in um, something called the Gaming Thematic Fund. This is run by Swissborg, and you basically just chuck whatever money you want into it. And it has a uh, kind of list of uh, 10 cryptos within that, kind of like a fund, an index fund. And it does swap the assets in and out if they're underperforming. And uh, I'm going to see who that does in the bull market and i'm looking to get maybe a 10 20x with that because it is stretched out from high cap gaming coins through to lower cap gaming coins so pretty interesting if you're interested i'm not shilling that i've not got a link to it so if you're interested go over to the swiss bog website and you'll you know you'll find more information about how you can kind of do that casper i'm going to ask about would i get casper now if i didn't already have it so what you've got to understand is four cents just under four cents is the price i bought it 16 cents now if i was looking for a layer one for my portfolio i probably would get into it 
because I do think spreading your assets into different things. So we've got the AI, we've got the gaming that we spoke about. Layer one. I'm going to basically just, you know, cover the, the, the big ones here. So, you know, if you've got a 510k portfolio and you're looking at getting into crypto, just be aware that if you get Solana, if you get XRP, if you get Cardano, the three big uh, kind of layer ones that have been around since forever, you're probably not going to get, you know, your ridiculous gains, your, your 20x, your 30x. It's just not going to happen because of the size of the market cap. Maybe you could still get some decent gains with Casper because it is lower in market cap than all of these. It's not billions and billions of uh, dollars, but it is a lot higher, like I said, than when I bought it. And there's a lot of layer ones out there. So I would definitely look at getting into a layer one um, because it is, you know, an essential core of, in my opinion, a crypto portfolio. Um, and obviously, we've got to talk about meme coins. I don't like meme coins, but I do have one in, uh, that I bought. I didn't put much into it, if I'm honest with you. I don't really like them, but I am aware that the power of the mean coin within the portfolio. And you've got to think that, right, if you're getting a mean coin, how are you going to play it? Are you going to get one on Ethereum? Remember, there's high gas fees on Ethereum. Are you going to get one specific to the chain uh, that you have other coins on? So, for example, Base Chain, which is the layer one for Coinbase. So, you may look at Base as a layer one. The largest meme coin on that is Brett. Brett did pretty well recently. But then you've got other meme coins on Solana. And you've got meme coins on Binance Smart Chain. Meme coins on Avalanche, etc, etc. So be aware with your meme coins that if you're only putting a small amount in, you're probably better getting a meme coin on a chain that has lower fees than Ethereum. Because if you're buying a meme coin for $100, for example, just because you want to see where it goes, if you're buying it on Ethereum maybe $10, $20 of that, you're losing 10 20%, basically because it's going to uh, cost you in gas fees. Now, layer two is another thing I want to speak about. So layer two, you've got a number of layer twos out there. You've got Arbitrum, which hasn't had a bull run yet. Optimism, you've got... Um, I, forget, I literally forgot the name of it then. It was uh, um, the one that powers Alluvium. Immutable X is a layer two as well. Quite a lot of layer twos. If you don't know what a layer two is, it is you've got your layer one base chain. So, for example, um, Ethereum is a layer one and Arbitrum sits on top of the layer two. The reason Arbitrum was created as a layer two for Ethereum is to reduce the gas fees. And all you do is you send your Ethereum uh, on the Arbitrum website and you wrap it into uh, Ethereum, uh, sorry, Arbitrum based Ethereum. And again, if you're struggling with any of this, you want any info on how I, I can kind of guide you through how to do this, link in description, book the call, get you on the program. Let's get you sorted with your crypto and knowing what to do. We've also got a couple of new uh, narratives this bull run. So we've got D-Pin and we've got real world assets. Pendle is one of the real world assets that I've been looking at, to be honest with you. Um, but you've got to be aware that there is a lot of uh, different types of cryptos that come out. So different gimmicks, different things that do different um, kind of jobs within crypto. And if I could, you know, say anything to someone that is getting into crypto and looking at structuring a portfolio, I would just ignore any proper gimmick coins. So I remember there's one, uh, there's been a few actually that came out. So in the last bull run, we had... Phoenix Community Capital, and I had a call with a guy uh, who was speaking about this. Phoenix Community Capital was basically a node coin. You bought 10 lot of the coin. It was like $800, so that would give you 8Ks worth. We bought a nest. The nest paid you out in 0.225 of that coin every single day. But ultimately, the coin crashed. People lost thousands. Um, another one was the one I got into, which was Jade Protocol. It was a million percent APR when I got into it. Obviously, it crashed and died. Um, and then th there has been gimmicks here and there. There was one, um, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I think it was Steppen, where it is basically um, you download the app and you earn the crypto by walking. I don't think that ended up very well as well. So get yourself some solid coins in reputable um, sectors. Obviously, do your own research on them. But... What, and I've given you some suggestions for ones to research, 
But try and stay away from gimmicks. Try and stay away from ridiculous a million percent APYs, node coins, any Telegram pump and dump groups, uh, trading groups or anything like that. And uh, just be aware that if you do join anyone's Discord for alpha hunting or, you know, meme coin gems, just be aware that as a crypto influencer, we get emailed. Ah, well, I do. Uh, all of us will anyway. Get emailed. And I only have 10,000 subs. The, all of us get emailed about projects on a daily basis. So any of these alphas or altcoin gems that people are, you know, promising you, they're just shilling stuff that they've got sent through and they get affiliate links for shilling it. They get paid for shilling it, something I never do. Um, never shill anything. So just be aware of that. And uh, yeah, research the coins I've spoke about. See if they're for you. If not, you know, have a look at the sectors. Don't go crazy. Don't have 30 to 40 coins, which is just insane, like some people do. A manageable portfolio. And again, like I said, I teach all this in the program. That's it for me. I'm going to drown my sorrows tonight after not getting Oasis tickets. And uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.